we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life So today is the day that I'm going to the arts market to meet a manager and show what my products are. I'm really nervous but also excited at the same time because they seem really nice. On my way back home Humming on my favorite ditty Swinging like Natalie Cole But then out of the blue after I talk to the manager, I browse around and I look at my friend's booth. This is Sarah Viv Jury. She's so talented. Please check it out if you're around the area. And also many others great products. It's just all local artisan and artists. See where the sun might lead. Let's see where the sun might lead. Today is going to be the restock day. The most challenging um, part about like opening an actual like a physical shop is that um, the stocking because uh, with online selling is kind of different. You only need to like take good products photo and then your stock it just can't stay in your drawers right until you ship it with physical shop. You really have to bring out the the like the cuteness <laughs> like the the quality, you know, like the products, it does have to stand out. So I've been thinking a lot about like, how would I package my stuff? How would I represent my um, art? How would I show my customer when I'm not there? How does my product speak on its own? I'm stocking prints. Uh, I do want to keep half of my stock on my online store for like people who does want to get my stuff um, who lives like far away like not in town stock some orange prints here I'm very exciting I only have like 12 left also uh, I'm stocking this coffee prints these turn out so good because I've just got like a better quality paper. I got the Epson uh, Premium Glossy. So the price is going to be like a bit higher. Let's um, package some prints with me. Which way does the wind blow? So I don't know if I got accepted to the arts market yet, but I still want to package my prints. Um, if I don't get accepted, then I'll use this for my online store, the Etsy store. I use wax paper to wrap my art prints and stickers because I want it to be a bit more eco-friendly. I know I still have like a lot of plastic wraps or like plastic pockets the little bags to go through but um, I'm trying to be like as eco-friendly as possible it took like years for me to print and cut these so yeah please enjoy my process Sorry for the bad audio, it's kind of windy today and I'm filming outside so um, yeah, very excited, uh, hopefully it's a good space. I must say that I'm very fortunate because um, usually people have to wait for like 4 weeks to like 6 weeks to get their booth but like right now I think because of Covid plus um, they said my art is like kind of different from the rest, um, that's why they want me to uh, see the booth right now like i think i only signed up about like a week ago or like two weeks like 10 days and i already got the booth that um the manager sent it to me so yeah <laughs> i love this area too because um i used to live here and like people here are like so nice and we're here guys Hey 
Hey guys, so um, I'm back from the store. So here's the thing. I was gonna start like stocking and like working on my booth maybe like two weeks from now. But the thing is, we came to an agreement that I still pay my rent, but they, they give me like a week free. So now like have to rush everything. I need to do stock. I need to plan my booth. I need to buy supplies to like paint and is install like shelves. My booth is like so small, but it's like my child. It's like I'm giving birth. There's, there's a lot of preparation going to it. So my plan is tomorrow, Saturday, I'll go to Ikea and I'll work on the furniture a bit. Um, Sunday, I'll go into the store to paint and to prep the wall. On Monday, I'll install everything in stock so that it's ready to post on social on social media yeah let's just get into work okay so i'm gonna unbox this now um these are sticker paper it's a lot of money it's big money time but you know what you gotta spend money to make money so i'm not sad about it it came in right on time for me to work on the stock for the sticker this is a label sheet and I got a hundred sheets of mat for inkjet. I also got a hundred sheets of the gloss inkjet. This one I tried out before and it works really well. Everyone is in love with the quality. If you want to know where I get my uh, supply, it's from online labels. It's not, you have to pay like a lot of money for shipping. So I do recommend order like in bulk. Oh, so low-key, my room is a mess. I've been working on... I just got this um, corner punter. It's so cute, though. Um, I got it on Amazon. I'll put the link down below if anyone's interested. But um, I trimmed some of my business card. Oh, also, I ordered a new business card. Because this one, it doesn't have my Etsy on it. Um, but the other one hasn't come yet. So hopefully, finger crossed, that it will come on by Monday or Tuesday so we can put it in the booth. I'm gonna do the sticker, the price tag on the prints. Um, this is my way of doing it. I personally, let me zoom it in. I personally have the terms of use here because um, these are prints. Prints are like more into the copyrighted, you know, whatever. So you have to make sure you write the term of use here, uh, personal use only because um, they might, I'm not saying everyone, but like to avoid the situation where they like copy it and print it, you know, and like resell it. So, yep. Just gonna stick it at the back like this. And I have the price here, $16. Oh no. This one I put one dollar. <laughs> one dollar. <laughs> I have to write <gasps> to make sure it's right. These are sticker packs. Um, these one I I made it so long ago, probably like last year, um, for like a spring market. But it didn't sell very well, so I guess I'm just gonna put it out there and hope for the best. Another thing about opening an art booth is that you have to make sure every product have the price tag on it. So like whoever works on the ship wouldn't get confused. And I usually stick it at the back so that people usually turn at the back to see the price. So yeah. It is really late. Um, it's still the same day. <laughs> Right now, I'm planning my booth, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys. 
and I'm gonna walk you through it. So right now I'm using Illustrator, as you can see. So um, I have like the artboard is the size of my booth, right? I'm looking at IKEA right now um, for the sizing here to see which product I have to get um, to fit all my products. I want to have, I want to minimize the cost of um, fixture as much as possible. So, yeah. So right now I have to plan what to get. So tomorrow morning I will go to IKEA um, and come home and build these um, so it can be ready for me to install it on Monday. Hi, hello you guys. Good morning to all. Um, it is the next day. I'm on my way to IKEA to pick something up. So I did the layout planning yesterday and I figured I need some um, of the fixture. Like I need a stool and then like maybe two shelves. So yeah, I do recommend planning ahead of like what supplies to get. Cause like usually IKEA here in Canada, they're located pretty out of downtown. And then my shop is in downtown. So yeah, we, well not we, but like me, I do need to have like a plan ahead. So when I come here, I'll, I can get everything that I need in one go. <laughs> but I did go to IKEA three three times this month. Cause like earlier this month, I did like a um, what was it called? A room makeover, like a workspace makeover. So yeah, let's go. But it's fine. Still very happy and exciting. Because I already have a list of what to get, so um, I'm just gonna go in IKEA, grab everything I need as fast as I can, and then come home because I don't want to like waste my time. And also, I try to avoid as much as public interactions as possible. Please give me power to carry all this home. Please. <laughs> I'm waiting for an Uber. <laughs> I don't have enough strength to carry all this. Oh, so yeah. It's coming. Hi guys, um, I look like crap. <laughs> well, it's fine. I woke up at 6 a.m. today to work on my stuff. It's crazy. Tomorrow is um, the stock day, so tomorrow I have to install all the fixture and also like stocks. So I have to, have to make sure that everything runs smoothly, which is so stressful. Um, the plan of today, uh, I woke up early to get some work done, so now. Uh, it's 10 a.m. right now. Um, I will have to go to the store to paint my walls. <laughs> Exciting things. Let's go. I'm walking really fast right now because I'm late and I only have one hour to paint. So, um, <laughs> wish me luck. a really rainy day for me to paint the wall i must say that this is not my best work like i painted mural before but honestly this is not the best because i have to rush i only have one hour to paint because it's like a sunday and it's the time frame that i have available on that day i mean i'm okay with how it turns out but i'm just saying it's not my best work <laughs> So after I got home, I still have a few hours left before I have to do some errands and have a meeting with friends. 
Um, so I work on all of my sticker sheets, um, round their corners, and also package all of my sticker pack. They turn out so cute. Like I'm really excited for the display and for the customer to see this. I'm very excited to share my art with all of you. So later that night, when all of my paper goods are in good shape, I move on to printing some tote bag and some pouch to display it in my store. So fashionable. Louis Vuitton, who? Hi guys, um, we're on our way to install the fixture and also put the stocks on and start selling. Um, I have my helper today, this is Jasper. The stuff here and we have the little table, so yeah. Thank you Jasper who helped me carry all this heavy furniture all the way from our house to here. Um, we were so amateur of it installing, but um, they turned out pretty good. Like it's better than I expected, and I think the layout layout planning that I did the other day really helped because we just came in. I already know where to put the shelf, so I didn't have to think or agitate because the space in the store is really small. So I do recommend if you guys renting a booth or something do make sure that you plan ahead everything so when you come in you just work straight because even with planning it took us like three hours or so to install everything maybe because we were amateur too but yeah this is how the booth turned out i'm so grateful i'm so happy that they turned out so great i don't know what to say i'm just very happy right now so yeah if you keep dreaming you sleep in and be late for class <laughs> I'm kidding. Keep dreaming and your dream will happen. Just keep working hard. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.